Hi! In this episode, I'm gonna take a brief look at some new features in QGIS 2.8. First, I make sure I have snapping for all layers set to vertex and segments, and I also set a tolerance. Then I create a new temporary scratch layer to demonstrate with. I select a projected coordinate system so my measurements will be in meters. When I activate editing, the advanced digitizing panel becomes visible. Coordinates for the cursor is printed in the X and Y fields, and you can also type in values to lock the cursor position. The shortcut key for the X field is X. You lock the coordinates by pressing Enter or Alt X. Do the same with the Y coordinate by pressing Y and then Enter to lock it. Now we can click anywhere in the map to create the first vertex. To draw your object parallel to the road, you use the Parallel tool. You can press the button or use the P key to toggle Perpendicular and Parallel mode. Click the road to set the parallel feature. And now your object is locked parallel through the road. If you know your object's length, you can type it in the D field by pressing D and then enter to lock the distance. The tool can snap to common angles that you control in the tool settings. You can also type in any angle in the A field by using the A key. As before, you can use D to type in a distance and lock it with Enter. Use the panel to complete your object. If you want to start editing an object at a known distance from something, you can use Construction mode. Enter Construction mode by pressing the button or C on the keyboard. Select a starting point and use the panel to move parallel or perpendicular to an object at a set distance. Before you add your first vertex, you need to exit construction mode by pressing C. Now you can use the panel as before to complete the new object. You can also use the panel with the advanced digitizing toolbar, but that is not covered in this video. See you next time!